Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Connery from Out of Work Outdoors again. Uh, today, uh, I want to discuss uh, one of my favorite jerk baits, and um, I'll tell you guys why I like them, and I'll give you a little history on these lures. And usually, I don't do a little history, but I feel that this lure is pretty significant in the way that it shaped the industry or improved the industry. So let me uh, let me just kind of introduce to you guys what it is. Some of you guys already know, but from the title, uh, but some might not know that there's actually three different versions. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go into that right now. You have this is the Mega Bass Eto Vision 110. All right, so Eto Vision 110 is a lure that works very well, but a lot of times it's out of the reach of a lot of people because let's just you know. Let's just say it now. It's like a twenty-five dollar lure, okay, for one. And after that, you might even want to change the hooks out on them. So you're looking maybe let's let's round it up twenty twenty-seven dollars to between twenty-seven and thirty dollars depending on where you get it. But the Ito Vision One Ten, which is this one, this is the one we're talking about. This is the one with a regular bill, and it's one hundred and ten millimeters long. That's why it got its 110. And if you look at the world of jerk baits right now, the the, the number 110 is so is so widely used. Everybody has a 110 now. Um, even if it's completely designed, they still go with the, the number 110. So this is the 110 plus one. Uh, the difference is it's got a different looking bill. Okay, so it's got a flat bill. It goes more, you know, more straight out compared to this one. This is the regular one. Let's see if you can focus in on that. See that? So that's different. So that's the normal one. That's the 110. There's a couple other different bill designs too, but I'm just gonna focus on the most, uh, most, I guess, the most uh, popular ones. Uh, and this is the 110 Magnum. It's just a lot longer. It's got a bigger profile. Uh, you know, for when you're targeting those bigger bass or or if you just want to try to catch bigger bass because or only bass because a lot of these lures are real small and they kind of fit that profile of uh, any species uh, so that comes in handy when you want to focus on say just a bigger bigger class fish but let me uh let me give you guys a little history on these before I dive deep into it and the reason why this lure I, uh, I think when it came head. out it was hush hush and at the same time it was so good uh, especially here in Oklahoma and Arkansas uh, deep rock lakes okay so uh, before this lore came out people were really used to throwing something like this okay this is the Smithwick Rogue and it's still it's still real good and it's, it's a it's a floating model okay and all these are suspending models that's another that's another thing that's really cool about it before the, these lures came out these lures came out not a lot of people did a lot of suspending stuff and suspending is really usually targeted towards fall winter and spring all you can throw it year round but this this smithwick this one's a, it's a floating model high floating model now i want you to pay attention to the uh the body design the design of the lure it looks very 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 traditional kind of round body you know look at the belly it's very very smooth it's got round edges everywhere okay and the bill just very traditional bill you know all right all right you got that design and you pretty much have this design over here uh, I design like this see this is a different brand but once again you still got you know the very basic type of uh, yeah, design you know, round body long and slender okay so when this when this company released their lore, okay, I'll, I'll I'll just let you guys see this one. Pay attention to this again. Look at it. Look at the body style on this. It's got almost like a S wave kind of action to it. See, it. see how that the tail end just looks like that. The top end, and this is not round. It's like a very. It's got flat sides. Okay, flat sides. Okay, and then on top of that, the belly. If you look at the belly, it's got like this weird, this weird cut, kind of like right here, and then it flattens out on the back. Okay, so that's that's a very unique design. 
everything about this was just mind-boggling when we came out. It must have been. Because I didn't really fish this in the 90s. I wasn't a bass fisherman. I got into these guys a couple years back. Today's, today's in the 2017s. So, and on top of that, look at this bill. Okay? Most bills don't look like this. Most bills still don't look like this. And we'll talk about that later as to why. And then, and then you look at the attention to detail. Okay? Look at that detail. You know? And look at this detail. Okay. Look at that. I mean, that's unmatched. That's still unmatched today. So I think that's one of the reasons why this, this lore will cost that much. I think it's because they have to make it uh, cost twenty-five dollars if you gonna put that much type of a detail in it. So on top of that, um, they have this thing called a weight transfer system, which the older lores do not have. The Smithwick Rogue still does not have. So let me explain what that is. So this is one that's got a translucent body, so I can demonstrate the uh, uh, the lore. So for the most part, this lore. Alright, okay, here's another major thing. If you're picky about how your lore suspends or how it sits during the pause, all your Mega Bass lures will suspend like this. Head down. Head down at a 45 or a more aggressive angle because that's what I see when I pull them out of the box, okay? Most of the lures will suspend just nice and flat, you know? But this one, it suspends like this. Okay, that's a big deal. Uh, that's one of the main things about this lore that I think it, they they built into it that a lot of lures did not. Okay, so a lot of lures still do not. So that's a big thing. Uh, that's one of the main things that the Mega Bass does that a lot of other lures don't. So for the guys who understand why, you understand why. For the guys that do, say it doesn't matter, well, it's not going to matter. But anyhow, uh, weight transfer system. So when the lure is sitting in the water, right, it's sitting like this. Pay attention to these balls, tungsten balls, from what I've read, okay? When you cast them, it slides to the back, and it's now tail heavy. So when you cast it, it'll throw very well. Some people call it throws like a bullet, okay? And that's true about these lures. They, they, th they throw very well for its size. And that, the credit goes to that transfer system, okay? Without the transfer system, it's not going to throw that well. And because right. these balls, nice one. I, 17. I could be wrong, but I believe they're tungsten. And a lot of the other companies are making out of stainless steel. Tungsten, for, for the people that don't understand the metalology, uh, tungsten is a much more uh, dense material. So basically what that means is for the same size uh, ball, you can make it 20, 30 times heavier, something like that. So for these, that's one of the reasons why. Okay, castle up. So tungsten balls, uh, when they when they hit the front, basically it it, it goes nose down. Okay, so that's a cool thing. Uh, so that's that's a that's from from a design perspective. And I just want to talk again about the color selection. Now, color selection to most people, uh, you hear people all the pros say it all the time: keep it natural, keep it simple. That's a bullshit. Okay, because in my opinion, you want something that looks exactly like what you're seeing in there, or you want something that's completely different from what everybody else is throwing. Okay, so if one guy goes down the bank and he's thrown this, the second goes that guy goes down the bank, he throws this. You think you're gonna go out after them and throw the same thing? It's like no, you need to throw something completely different. Okay, so there we go. Or if uh, you know some guy's going down the road, he's throwing a. Uh, you know, your basic whites. You know, this is like a basic white. I'd put that in the basic white category, you know. Why not go down the road? Same, I say road, but the same stretch of bank and throw this, you know. Look at this. Look at the paint job. That's what I wanted to get across here is look at the paint job on this. Okay. This paint job is hot rod quality. I mean, look at that. Who paints that? I don't think anybody else would even try. Maybe Lucky Craft? They'd probably try it. But they you don't see these type of uh, weird patterns or weird color patterns. You know, who does this dark blue on top, 
it transforms into like an orange, an orange, uh, methylate color, it goes to gold sides, and then there's chartreuse on the bottom. Okay, who, you know, not, nobody does that, except for these JV yeah. companies. And here's and another great the example of cutter right patterns. Back, so. Okay, so let's start here at the, the head. A lot of it's, this is all, this is painted on a clear plastic, right, by the way. So they start off with like a, uh, it's almost like a coffee color, a see-through coffee. And then you, you got the Ito Vision 110 stamped right on top, so you know it's genuine. And as you come into the head, okay, let's focus on the head a little bit. The head is painted chrome. Gil, well, chrome gill plates, a little bit of pink. Uh, once again, that coffee color comes in. The eyes are really, really crazy. And even the eye sockets, okay? They have deep eye sockets. A lot of people just stick the eyes right on top of the head. But these have real deep eye sockets. So the eyes are kind of out of the way. And then from the bottom, you can actually see gills. That's, that's, that's so cool. And then on top of that... Okay. I'm trying to get the camera's focus here. Okay, we got... It. If you pay attention to the shine. Now, most companies will do either a completely chrome body or or completely translucent. This is one of the first companies that I've seen, at least mainstream wise, where they've painted chrome on top and they've left the chrome off. So what that does to you is it gives you a slight flash in the water. It's not a big flash, oh, yeah. which is probably okay. something that <laughs> that's probably, uh, uh, helping me catch some of these fish out here. So. So you see that? You know, they took the time no to do that. Dice. I don't know if it no to tape it or what, but go to. Uh, chrome on top, translucent, okay. and then it fades to purple. So it just fades to purple. That's cool. And then they give you French pearl on the bottom. Okay, that's this is just like a win-win color combination for me. That's why I've been throwing this with luck, lots of luck. Last tournament I had, I caught three fish on this. Um, basically is. three fish on this and then I, I topped off. it off with a just a drop shot like a, because it was a hot day a hard day fishing nice and on top of that some of these are some of the mods I've done to it uh, the uh, the old well let me just talk about mods let's go into that right now too these are the hooks that comes with it it looks pretty dang cool okay um, and these are the they call it the katana hooks or something like that basically they're reverse barbs the barbs on the outside compared to the barbs on the inside of the hooks they I guess they work for most people but for me um, I switch them out uh, I change them out to some owner st 36s these are on size fives okay so it'll help it sink a little bit and for a lot of times I do like to do this I do like to tie my own feather trebles and I'm using uh, chicken feathers okay I live on a farm. I have plenty of feathers. Okay. That, that's the presentation that I, I like right there. Um, feel free to copy it if you want. Okay. So, yep, on top buddy. of that, um, right look at the hooks. I still change out um, depending on what I want them to do and depending on what body style. Um, obviously, yep, um, these, for something like this, this is the normal version. You don't hit three to five feet. Uh, the plus ones, I, I consider them five to eight, nine footers. But if you want to go a little deeper, all you got to do is uh, like I said, put bigger hooks on. They'll, that sink and sometimes that's what you actually want you want them to sink so they can, they can hit deeper depths uh, not not when you're running in the winter time let's say during this uh, pre-spawn spawn uh, post-spawn and you're actually working them pretty good and you're not actually gonna let them touch the, the bottom then you want some bigger hooks on them because okay, you're, you're kind of ripping them real fast so it's almost like it's like uh, you gotta fish them like a lipless trap uh, they're sinking so you're actually just moving them around and uh, they never just truly suspend uh, once you go beyond the winter and the pre-spawn months, for, in my opinion. And then once again, uh, I use size uh, size uh, five, six, sevens, and eights. They're all from owner. You can get them. Uh, I like I like the the capability of doing that with that company of of hooks. Uh, each hook put in a specific location can change the lure, the lure's action completely. So. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the mega bass. Um, I love them. I have a lot of I've caught a lot of fish with them. I've caught a lot of fish with their 
uh, they're copycats or things like that. So with that being said, now these are very expensive and I do throw them a lot, but I only throw them in areas that I already know the bottom structure where I, I probably won't get hung up. Okay. I put it that way where you won't get hung up or you're, you're going for tournament fish, you know, money's on the line, that type of stuff. I'll throw these. I'll start off with these. Okay. But if I'm fun fishing, you know, and one of the main reasons why I even ran into uh, this company because they're not widely available. Okay, so they're not available at Walmart. They're not. They're probably not available right, at like man, uh, you get an you know, your basic uh, Dick Sporting Goods things like that. Ooh, you have to kind of go to a specialty shop to right. find these, and that's one of the problems <laughs> with these lures. Okay, so with that being said, Mondo, Mondo. Uh, you have to order them online. You know, eBay, Amazon, great like, place to get them. Tackle Video, Warehouse, good place. VHS Bass Pro, size. good place. Cabela's, I think they might carry them. And a couple other shops, specialty shops, I mean, mainly fishing focused, they know about it, they'll get it for you. Some of the local shops near our lakes will carry them too because they're pretty popular here around Oklahoma or in the Ozarks, okay? But this is basically the one that everybody compares it to. And they say, uh, why don't you just buy this? This is the Lucky Strike. Are you trying to zoom in on that? This is the Lucky Strike RC. STX, okay, and it's it's a pretty good copy, you know. It's almost people say it's an exact copy, but once you know your lures, it's not an exact copy. It's pretty much far from it. Uh, what's the major selling point? It looks like it, looks like the real thing, and it casts almost as good, well not as good, um, and it catches fish too. Okay, so it's just like a regular jerk bait. It behaves almost like the real thing. And it catches fish. So, for my fun fishing, uh, you know, experiments and days where I just want to go and smash fish, and it's not, it's not a uh, tournament day. I throw this. Okay, so that gets somewhat of honorable mention. But just to give you an idea of what this company has done. They've influenced the industry so much. They've changed the ways of the jerk bait that other companies are forced to copy and that's how you know you got a good lure and that's something i haven't really discussed much on in the uh, channel so this is the, would be the first one so this is another company bear uh i, keep going. I think it's like bear something bear king okay bear king out of china i guess copied the 110 plus one okay pretty good copy um livingston lures and this is actually a uh pretty good copy too but this one is actually a 121 size which is a slightly bigger size it's the size of this one right, man, just to but get still got the original uh, look to it and this is the one that Ooh, makes the, like the uh, sound fish calling right. sounds right <laughs> the same kind 15, of a copy and on top of that Mondo, Mondo. let's take a look Mondo at bass. like most people would call it this is the Spro Mike McClellan 110 fish oh yeah you see the resemblance? I see it. The only thing here is they, they do have a bigger bill on it, okay? It's a much bigger bill. Alright, but overall, you know, same thing. Um, and on top of that, it's so popular that people are now selling counterfeit bodies, okay? So, you can buy these now. Uh, 110 style, I say 110 style, uh, uh, unpainted lures and paint them yourself. And this is one I actually bought off of this one guy. Paid like ten bucks for it. Comes with mustads. <laughs> but yeah, you know that's that's an idea. So that's that's how that that gives you an idea of how much uh, how much we like these lures or these style of lures. So like I said, if I'm free free fishing, pre fishing things like that, I'll throw the generic stuff. Something that uh. That looks very similar, behaves very similar. But during tournament day, come on, uh, money's on the line. We throw the best equipment you have. You got to bring the best things you got to the to the gunfight. So that's what we like to do. We've caught lots and lots of great fish on this. Um, if you guys are if you guys are uh, following the channel, you know the Kanawa, the Kanawa uh, first season opener for us. Well, season opener is a tournament opener. Uh, this is the one that did the damage for me right here. That's the color. It was a cloudy, stained water type of day. Went out with this. Caught two fish, two key fish off of that. No, three. No, two, two. I caught two off of that. And then I had to finish the uh, 
it caught two other giants on the uh, striking uh, crankbait. But, you know, the crankbait is, a, is something that's really, really good in the morning, at least for me. Uh, I usually always get two or three like decent sized ones off of these jerk baits and it's a big confidence booster for me so i was able to in our buckle lake i was fishing this guy i was fishing this exact one um and i've caught i caught three fish off of it and this is all following i'm on a kayak okay so this is all following this there's actually a bass boat tournament that day and this is following bass boats into coves and this is after two or three have already fished a certain cove i can still go in there and i can still pull fish out so that's a big confidence booster for me so i think one of the things is the difference between these lures and the other lures is is not don't look at it from a, a price point type of uh, a view uh do it from like a different type of view because everyone's throwing like these you know these are the cheaper ones they're like six bucks seven bucks everyone's throwing these so you know if five boats go by you can pretty much guarantee that three of them are throwing something like this and by the time you, you get your turn at it the fish have already seen it so in my opinion the, some people say it doesn't matter but in my opinion it does uh you want to throw something that's got a slightly different action uh, looks a little bit different. Um, still matches the hatch for the most part, but looks a little bit different. So that's when something like this comes into play. It twitches. It twitches harder. So I'm all, I'm fishing this stuff on six six uh, rods. Okay, so my my rod angles aren't as aggressive as somebody with a seven footer. So I need something that can um, twitch real easy. You know, with, you know with, with, to say say like my fingers the rod. I just switch like that, and I need something that really darts back and forth really really good and it just doesn't dart back and forth it does <clears throat> like a rocking action too it's like i said um it suspends head down well, let me try it. it suspends head down and when you snap it it has to go forward and then it has to tip like this so it's got this tipping action and it's got a side to side action so that's the best way i can explain you have to kind of see it in the water to believe it but these lures have a kind of unique action that a lot of the other lures just don't so i really like this action it matches uh, my fishing style and that's the other thing too find the lures that matches your fishing style but these just happen to be the ones that match my fishing style and i really like them and um Okay, so one of the downsides of these uh, jerk baits is they are very expensive and the bills keep breaking. Okay, so this bill right here, it keeps breaking on people. It's broken on me three times already, okay? So that's the major problem. Uh, people on the forums have read some forums, did a quick Google search. They The bills break and the manufacturer will not replace this lure for it. So that's that's one of the problems with this lure. Okay, so if you know you're throwing this, uh, it'll not three to five try to throw it in five to six so you get to that range but you're not going to get hung up you're not going to snap anything and try not to throw it into the rocks that, that really breaks them um and that's one of the reasons why i believe those companies like this they put in much more aggressive uh bills okay of course that's going to change the behavior but that's the, that's really the only downside that and the price now once you get into these two the plus ones they seem to not have a problem the magnum has that problem still but for me if i had to recommend somebody to buy one i'd say buy the ito vision 110 plus ones that problem goes away it dives a little bit deeper it's still got all the great colors and um gotta go out and gotta throw them and that's uh that's what i oh that's what i really like and also uh throw them on 10 pound or 12 or less um and they will they'll perform great for you so uh that's pretty much all I got to say about this review. It's a great, great lower uh, price point. I, in my opinion, twenty-four dollars does justify it, assuming you're buying some crazy, awesome color paint scheme like this. If you're just gonna buy a basic French pearl, I really don't think so, because I think the the gap between your your ten dollars to your twenty-five dollars is in the paint job. Uh, and I think it really is in the paint job. Um, Paint job and maybe the tungsten balls. Uh, okay, maybe tungsten balls too. So it casts well. Uh, it casts well into the into the wind, and you know on tournament days it's always freaking blowing like twenty. So uh, less backlashes 
and you'll catch more fish. Basically, that's what it boils down to. So, and if you want to cover uh, like a massive flat, these are the ones to do it too. And that's probably why it's so popular up in the north, uh, up in the Great Lakes, because you got to have something that casts miles. Uh, these will do it for you, okay? A lot of the other lures, they can't even come close to this, all right? So that's uh, that's all I got to say about them. They're great lures. Um, um, they're kind of expensive, but if you look at, you know, if, once you get to a certain level in fishing, when you're a beginner, you probably won't even look at these lures. But when you get to a certain level in your fishing, uh, you see, you can say career or your fishing age, if there's such a thing, um, you want certain lures to do very specific things. Now, um, if you ever get to the stage where I'm at, now the last six months for me has just been nothing but jerk baits. Okay, I've caught more than 50% of my lures, well, my, my fish on jerk baits. So I've gotten to the stage where it's, I need lures that can do this. Whether it's a rolling action, or whether it's a slow creeping action at night, or something that throws really far, I can snap it really soft, and in long ranges it still twitches really hard. This is the one for you. So that's all I gotta say about it. It's a great lore, a great company. They they design all the newest and greatest stuff, and people tend to do a lot of copying. That's the other thing. And this is uh, probably the best example from that company. So give them a try, man. If you're on the fence, just buy one, and probably buy this one if you have to pick. The Pro Blue has been tried and true. It's been tried and true since the '90s, um, late '90s. So. Uh, once again, you know, uh, the Mega Bass Eto 110 family is here on display. We use them. They're great lures. And uh, that's it. Any questions, let me know in the comments. And all on top of that, uh, if you like this review, you think this review was good, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know that you want to see more of this type of review. And we'll do more of them. And on top of that, give me a like, subscribe, share with your buddies. And... I hope I helped explain a lot of the things here. I know I gave you a lot of little nuggets, but a lot of these little nuggets are they make a big during the uh, the fishing day. So once again, it's Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. See you guys later.